Hi, I'm Ed, this is Minisodes, and these are my polystyrene balls, which can mean only one thing, sci-fi cacti. It seems we're in the midst of a second edition renaissance, and sci-fi cacti are all the rage at the moment. After watching this video, perhaps check out Broadsword Wargaming and the Crown of Commands guides too. I've put the links in the description below. I began by outlining the shape I wanted for the cacti bases on foam core, keeping them rounded and random. I then cut them out with a craft knife. The edges were then slightly beveled to blend the pieces into the board. Do this really carefully and don't cut to the bottom edge. It's now cacti construction time. Trim the bottom of the sphere so it will fit snugly to the ground. Now attach other polystyrene balls to the first, using part of a cocktail stick and plenty of PVA to keep it secure. I really enjoyed experimenting here with all sorts of random growths for an alien feel. As minis are going to be using this flora for cover on the nightmare battlefields of the 41st millennium, it makes sense that some of the cacti are going to be taking some damage too. PVA takes a while to dry, so I recommend leaving them a good few hours or overnight before moving on to the next step. After drying, I applied Mod Podge to exposed beveled edges and the damaged parts of the cacti. This will help them stand up to wear and tear down the line. Time for the spines. Simply poke a guiding hole with a cocktail stick, then dip one end in PVA and press firmly in. In real life, lots of cacti seem to have more going on at the top, so I made them spinier here too. I wanted to add some texture on the cacti, so painted them in some thin down PVA, being careful to avoid the spines and damaged parts. I then gave them a light dusting of builder's sand. For the base, I used the same method, but using my trusty basing mix, which has lots of different grades of material. Before painting, I covered the whole of each section in a mix of PVA, water, and rubbing alcohol for some capillary action. Before priming, I used my glue gun to create some gunky, sappy effects where the cacti had been damaged. Mmm, delightful. After a good amount of drying time, I primed each piece with Halford's grey primer. I then gave them a blast with Halford's white primer from the top down to accentuate the effect of the contrast paints I'd be using. Let's get started. First up, classic green. Then a more alien purple. And for the third, a rotten yellow. I should say at this stage that all my paint recipes for these freaky plants are included in the description. After the base coats, I painted the spines. It was really fun to mess about at this stage and follow my instincts. For this one I added some shading where the spines were erupting from the plant. I painted each of the bases with Drakenhof Nightshade, a theme running throughout the whole of my second edition project. I then painted the exposed parts. As a final step, I added some gloss varnish for some added ickiness. Sci-fi cacti complete.
This was simple, satisfying and lots of fun to do. There's not enough organic terrain about in 40k, not least on my own table, so I'm pleased to finally have some weird alien flora for my miniatures to battle over. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe, and feel free to comment below. Thanks for your support, and I'll leave you, as ever, with some cat time. Thanks for watching, and happy hobbying.